Bom dia! Bom dia! Good morning! Good afternoon! Vamos começar então? Ai, tô nervosa! <risos> oh my god! Olá! Hi! Hi everybody! You look amazing, Nick! Yeah, just, uh, you know, fighting zombies, trying to stay alive and survive, you know, get out of the RPD station. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> nice, to, nice to finally meet you. Oh, it's my pleasure. You look amazing. And so, here I am with my uniform, not just as fancy as yours. <laughs> you gotta dirty it up. Yeah, no, no, sorry. It was very expensive. I can't do this. Uh, first of all, just tell, tell everybody. Are you shy? Me? Yeah. Of course not. Why? I don't know. You look. I think I'm. I'm talking a lot. Okay. Okay. So Nick, please talk to us a little bit. <laughs> all right. I, I, I first of all want to say um, hello to everybody in that community. Um, I, I've traveled to a lot of South American countries. Um, not. Brazil yet, um, but anyways, um, the, the the fan base in South America is huge, and I just want to thank you. And one day I want to get to the Brazil game show so I can meet you all. Yeah, you're coming. I want to I, I want to believe that we we took like like um, eight years eight years to bring DC Douglas. So wow. your time will come. Okay. <laughs> Well, do, tell, tell, tell the fans anything they can do whenever this whole virus thing goes away and, um, and we get back to normal and conventions start happening again. Tell them to request us because the RE2 cast and I'm sure the RE3 cast would love to, to come down there. Yeah, I'm sure it would be amazing. The, the community would get you here with all their love. You, It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, it's finally nice to meet you after uh, all this time. Um, you've been a, a big support system um, to all of us. So thank you. And uh, yeah, what's up? How, how are you doing? How are you in, uh, surviving in this quarantine and the isolation? Well, I can tell about my experience. Um, we are trying to stay at home because I am from the, the risk group. I have asthma, so I cannot leave the house. Mm. But uh, this city where I live, I live in Curitiba. Uh, it's south, uh, the country. And, um, well, it, it's a little colder here, but since it's not big, uh, it's not as big as Sao Paulo, uh, we have some kind of normality here. But Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro are the, the worst places right now here in Brazil. I see. Well, be safe to everybody listening. Um, yeah, it's just good to be here. Um, I, I thought today was a good day to uh, get dressed and suit up, <laughs> and say hi to some people. <laughs> um, no, no, not, not hi. You have to say, Iai! <laughs> Iai! <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta teach me teach me some Portuguese yeah I will <laughs> uh, Nick I have to speak in Portuguese sometimes because of the, the Brazilian people who are here you do it. so if I start uh, speaking Portuguese from from the, the all of a sudden uh, please understand <laughs> it's okay uh, it's okay do, do whatever you have to do And, and your English, okay. your English is great. I don't know what you were nervous about. Oh. Yeah, I'm still nervous. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Galera, é, eu tava falando com ele né, em inglês para aquecer um pouquinho aqui, mas é, a gente vai tentar misturar um pouquinho os dois idiomas, né? Para também não deixar a galera brasileira de fora, porque aqui nós é PTBR, tá ligado? <risos> Então, eu vou, eu vou perguntar as coisas para o Nick, mandem as perguntinhas aí, tá? 
pra gente conversar com ele e eu vou ensinar umas palavrinhas em português para ele também, claro, né? Um, so, everyone is going to start sending some questions and I'm gonna read them to you, ok? Go for it. Ok, but before that, um, how are you on this quarantine time? Um, you live in LA, right? I live in Los Angeles. Yeah, and um, I, I travel a lot for work, and that has all been grounded. Um, and really, we're just isolating. We're just staying home, and I'm catching up on some video gaming uh, with friends. Um, I've been doing a lot of art again, so I started sketching. I don't know if you've seen any of my sketches that I post online. Uh, my most recent one was Nemesis, to get ready for the release of, uh, of RE3. Um, I've been getting back to wood burning. Uh, I work with wood and crafting and stuff like that. Um, and just catching up on personal stuff. I've been doing a lot of video chatting with my family. They live in Boston and I can't be with them during this time. So um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a different time of life, but everyone's just adapting, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have to adapt right now. We, uh, human beings are very adaptive. So I think we are going to learn a lot from the situation. Um, Alessa is, asking, is asking you to say, Jesus Christ. <laughs> First of all, I see all Alessa's comments. Um, to, thank you, Alessa, for all the support. Um, we pay attention to you. Um, and okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Yay! You have to say in Portuguese. What, what is the, it in Portuguese? In Portuguese, it would be something like very, very Brazilian. It would be Mano do Céu. Mama do Céu? Mano do Céu. Mano do Céu. Mano do, do Céu. Mano do Céu. Okay. Mano do Céu. <laughs> I love it. Really good. <laughs> really good. Yes. It, it's something like uh it's something like oh bro, it's something like it's it's a it's a um uh how do I say Giria? It's a it's a it's an expression from uh, especially Sao Paulo. We, we speak, I am from Sao Paulo. I live in Curitiba, but I am from Sao Paulo. So okay. I'm using a few, uh, a few expressions from Sao Paulo here. <laughs> well, um, if, if, they, if you have any more, let me know. And uh, to, uh, to everybody following, um, oh, hey, what's up? What's up, Sarah? How you doing? Um, I'm not really looking at the chat too much. So if I miss um, a hello or if I miss a question, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not good at this. <laughs> This is multitasking, but I'm trying. Yeah, same here. I've never done uh, some kind of uh, live stream with guests here on Instagram. Well, this so is fun. please be it's patient. A, it's kind of like a first for both of us and the first time I'm in cosplay. But we don't have conventions anymore, so here I am. Oh, you see that dust? <laughs> a little dirty. <laughs> Yeah, we, we totally understand. And uh, people are asking, um, I forgot the name of the person who asked. Um, first of all, have you seen all those rumors about Resident Evil 4 remake, Nick? I've seen every one of them. I'm online all the time and, uh, and, and they're everywhere. And hey, yeah, there's, there's some mixed feelings about if they want to remake it. Um, if they do, I got my fingers crossed that they call me because I would oh I'm training I'm doing my training <laughs> just in case just in case yes please gente eu perguntei para ele sobre os rumores do 4 remake e ele falou que sim porque né ele acompanha tudo e que ele tá com os dedinhos cruzados para chamarem ele né que ele já tá até treinando já os ninjas do, do Leon. Uh, we call uh, Ninja Leon. That's right. Just... I'm ready. 
<laughs> how, how do you say how do you say I'm ready in Portuguese? Tô pronto. That that rolling of the tongue, I don't know if I can master that. One more time. Uh, it's like uh, I'm ready would be estou pronto, but uh, the the common expression would be tô pronto. Tô pronto. <laughs> <laughs> pode vir, pode, pode vir, pode vir. Pode vir. <laughs> Dirty. Brazilian Leon. That would be like a uh, Leon, Leonardo. <laughs> This is fun. This is challenging. See, I know I, I just started to learn a lot of Spanish traveling to South America and doing a lot of work down there, but Portuguese, I know nothing. Aside from bom dia. Bom dia, boa tarde. It's good afternoon. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. 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 Okay. Boa tarde. It's afternoon here, so. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. I'm trying. I'm putting in an effort. I'm barely good at English. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And it's hard for me to switch from English to Portuguese and then from Portuguese to English. So please be patient. <laughs> from my eyes, you're very good at this. So. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, are you ready to... Oh, sorry. I, I just wanted to say hi to everyone just joining in. Um, hello, hello. And, and once more, hi to my friends, uh, Sarah and Zach. Uh, the kick ass for joining Hey, and um, um, uh, other, um, oh, I just want to, I just want to say real quick, um, uh, that we give our best and, and blessings to Paul Haddad. I just want to say yeah. that who played the original, uh, Leon in Resident Evil 2 in 1998. Um, he was a friend of mine. And he was a very, very kind soul. So let's all pay tribute today and uh, and celebrate his life with maybe a couple playthroughs of the OG RE2. Of course, totally. Yeah, since we get to that moment, um, I want to pay my respect for Paul as well. He was a... He was a, I don't, I don't know if I can say that I, he was my friend, but we used to talk sometimes. So... Um, I will miss him. Uh, and it's really sad because uh, the last message he sent me, he used to send me like uh, videos from YouTube, Resident Evil videos. And I was like always reacting, send uh, a little heart and stuff like that. And last time uh, I was like on a hurry and I could not answer his last message. So... I feel really bad about well, it. I think he knew that you were there, but everybody right now, give a bunch of hearts for Paul. All right. I don't know if I can give one from here. There we go. Look at those hearts. Mandem corações pro Paul, galera. Vamos fazer nossa homenagem ao Paul Haddad. He will be missed. He will always be our rookie member of the RPD. He the will always, guy. Be, always be the rookie. And, and you know what, though? He's, he is a, a big part of why we are all here right now. You, the community, me doing this, it's because of, of the OGs way back when, in the late 90s, before a lot of you were even born. But I was playing them back then, and you probably were too, Moni, huh? Yeah. When did you yeah, start? Same here. When did you start? Um, when they came out in the late 90s? Um. <laughs> I started playing Resident Evil with the first one, the original Resident Evil, in 1997. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, the, the the first game is from 1996, mm -hmm. but I just had the opportunity to play in 1997, and um, it was like love at first sight, I guess. And since that first day, uh, I think it was uh, May or June, I can't remember exactly, but um, since that very first day, 
there was never been one single day in my life that I didn't speak or played or did anything related to Resident Evil and it's and now you're I don't here. know and now you're yeah. here now I'm here talking to you yeah yeah um it, it connects a lot of people it's a very um I mean it's been around for uh, 24 years 24 years I think right am I right yeah um I can't even count and it just connects so many people like different generations um older people somewhere in the middle like us and then even the younger people who um I I've been told a lot that the RE2 remake was the first one they ever played and some of these some of these people are like in their early teens and now they're die hard resident evil fans and so it's just cool to connect uh with all the different generations yes and how did you start playing resident evil i i had a sleepover um with a friend of mine when i was about 13 years old and we were just playing video games all night and he asked if i wanted to play this game called resident evil 2 And uh, so what's it about? And he's like, "Well, you got to kill a lot of zombies." And I was like, "Okay, let's do it." <laughs> and the f the first character I ever played was uh was Paul's Leon. And I remember I remember so well the first time where you're in the city and there's fire everywhere and exploded cars and you have to escape those first couple zombies at the very beginning. And that was my first experience with RE and that was like That was 1998. So you started playing Resident Evil with Resident Evil 2. I think it's <sighs> How is it for you to be Leon now? Uh since it was the first Resident Evil you played was Resident Evil 2. How how do you feel about that? Uh people have been asking me that for the past 15 months and i still don't even know exactly how to answer that <laughs> with a good answer um it's just like <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if there are words It, it's a uh, it's like it's like the my favorite thing in life has come like completely full circle and brought me here I don't know. <laughs> It's just the the best thing ever. How's that? <laughs> yeah. My time will come. I want to work for a Capcom someday, so my time will come. <laughs> well, you're very supportive and I'm sure that's going to happen for you. I hope so. I think that was that was and, the uh, biggest dream was was working for a developer who I'd been enjoying like the entertainment from for all these years like three decades because the first Capcom love that I had was Mega Man. Do you play Mega Man? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like one of my favorites as a, as a young kid and so now to work with the company is is really awesome. Totally. Um I'm going to switch to Portuguese just a little. Yeah. Just a little. I I hope that the people tuning in have been able to understand a little bit of what I'm saying. A yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, good. They are. They are. Gente, ele tava, a gente tava conversando um pouquinho sobre, é, ele me perguntou onde que eu estava. Uh, ele me perguntou onde que eu estava é, no fim dos anos 90, né? E aí eu falei sobre é, quando eu comecei a jogar, que foi o primeiro jogo, e aí eu perguntei para ele é, quando foi que ele começou, e ele começou com Resident Evil 2. Então, foi o primeiro jogo, e ele falou que, cara, é, foi tipo full circle, foi tipo um, um, um ciclo completo, assim, sabe? De ele... Começar a jogar Resident Evil 2 ser o, o jogo que ele começou e agora ele tá fazendo, né, ele ter feito o Leon, então é muito legal e aos pouquinhos eu vou traduzindo, tá gente? Porque é realmente é difícil ficar virando a chavinha toda hora. <risos> We have to switch all the time the, the, the key to from Portuguese to English and then from English to Portuguese and it's, it's hard. <laughs> Look, if you want to talk to them a lot about what I'm saying to or whatever, Just do whatever you want to do. I'm just happy to be here. It's totally fine. 
Yeah, it's amazing. I'm having a lot of fun right now. And um, uh, have you, um, I, I have to ask this, this question. When you were, uh, when you were uh, hired to, to be Leon, and um, just, uh, and you didn't know the, the, the lines yet, Did you, this is something I would do in this case. Uh, did you practice pose lines in front of the mirror? Like, um, it's up to us to do that umbrella. <laughs> no, I knew the script. Really? I, no, I, I knew the script was going to be different. And they did not want me to um, try to copy any past Leon at all. So mm -hmm. I, I have played the game so many times. I, I know them in my heart, all, all of them. And I had to try to forget that a little bit. It's, it's more about keeping the, uh, the essence behind the character, but breathing my own life into it. So bringing Nick into the new imagining of Leon. And uh, what did you think of the changes they, they made on the, on the storyline? Uh, Resident Evil 3 suffered much more than the Resident Evil 2, the, the remake or reimagination. I... People call it whatever they want, the way they want. I, I don't care. It's, gonna to be, it's going to be a remake for me because it's, a, it's based on a, on a classic game takes the same same name so it's a remake for me but how did you did you feel since you played the the original game uh, about the um, changes the changes in the storyline I thought they were appropriate because the the game is now it's was developed 20 years later and gaming uh, video games are totally different than they were back in the late 90s I think the changes were appropriate and it, and it feels like a very real and grounded story and all the interactions are very grounded. Um, back in 1998, the, the situations, the, the scenarios, they're, they're classic and they'll live with me forever, but they were a bit unrealistic, some of them. Um, so I think they just tried to bring it into modern day times, if that makes sense. I like, I, I like the changes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how I can make that work, but I'm flattered. <laughs> You're going to be a web namorado. It's it's like a web boyfriend. It's a no one boyfriend. We we call this web namorando here in Brazil. I am web namorando Nick, for example. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. <laughs> What do I got to do? Do I got to go somewhere? Or... I don't know. I never had a web enamorado. Sorry. <laughs> I like that. That's interesting. I never heard of that. É, galera, o, o Nick ele tava falando um pouquinho. Eu perguntei para ele se eu faria isso, né? No caso, se eu, quando eu fosse chamada para fazer, tipo, a Jill. Se eu for chamada para fazer a Jill, você ia ficar falando as falas dela no espelho. Eu super faria isso. E ele falou que não, porque quando ele recebeu, é, quando ele foi chamado, é, ele já recebeu o script e já falaram para ele que não, que não era para ser é, igual, né? A, pra, não, não era para ser uma cópia dos Leons anteriores. Então, por isso que ele não, ele decidiu, é, ele tinha que pôr a essência dele. Claro, manter a essência do personagem, mas também colocar a essência dele. E aí eu, é, eu perguntei se ele gostou das mudanças e ele falou que foram apropriadas, sim. É, e agora eu vou perguntar para ele se teve algum momento do original que ele sentiu falta no remake. Uh, Nick, um, there was any kind of, um, of moment from the classic game that you missed in this reimagination, this remake? Uh, let's see. Let's see. What did we miss? Um... I think an Ada Wait moment would have been fun. <laughs> oh, yeah! Now that you said it, 
You're going, yes. You'll have to say it. Say it. Okay. In respect to Paul, I have to put my own spin on it. Okay. okay. Uh, he understands. I, I, he was our friend, so he understands completely. Don't worry. Okay. Let me see. Let me see here. What w what would be what would be the scenario? You come up with that. Um, let me see. Um, so we opened uh, the. We cleared the space. We we pushed that uh, that police car to open the the cell block, and Ada just ran away. And you were like, "What? Where are you going?" <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Ada! Wait! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Women. <laughs> He says that in Resident Evil 4, women. Yes, he does. Oh, women. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see the changes they make if they do remake 4. I'd be very curious because that story was way more... Um, uh, a little bit out there. You know, um, they kind of push the boundaries of what's realistic, and they'd have to really dial that back in if they did it. What do you think? Maybe they could use much more those uh, hallucinations from Leon because of the Las Plagas. Yeah. So I think it would be interesting to have, like, the, the, the Mercant himself could be a hallucination from Leon, maybe. That's really interesting. Did you think about that? Actually, there there is a theory that uh, the Mercant is a hallucination from Leon because of Las Plagas, but of course not because Ada sees uh, the Mercant as well. So mm. that's not true. <laughs> well, I, I'd be interested in seeing a script one day. Let's hope that happens. Yeah, I have my own script about Resident Evil 4 Remake, Resident Evil 8. It's like my fanfic, so... Uh, <laughs> I just saw the message It's for that, free! <laughs> I, I just saw the message, too, that Ashley could learn how to walk down a ladder. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming is for free, so let me have my own fanfiction. <laughs> you Do you have it. your own fanfiction for Resident Evil 8? Uh, what I would want it to be. Um, yeah, how how it would be for you? How would you like it uh, to be? I would like to have you and Leon together, for example. You know, I haven't even given that a thought. Hmm. That's a good one. That's okay. You have all the time of the world right now. That's I, I okay. Th I, I think I think what um what I'm hoping for as like um, a general statement is that they keep on going in the direction that they're going. I love the RE engine. Um, I love the, the gameplay, how that's changing and evolving in the series. Um, and the storylines that like they're, they're feeling like really grounded. Uh, so I'm just excited if they make eight, um, even if they go in like a virtual reality direction, because personally, I loved Seven. I think Seven was polarizing, and some people liked it, some people hated it, whatever. I thought it was great because it scared the crap out of me, and it gave me a heart yeah. attack when I played, and that was the first time I was scared playing a Resident Evil game in probably 13 years or 11 years or something. And so if we do something like that, give me a heart attack, because that's what I want. Same here. I think um, I even said that a few times uh, before that Resident Evil 7 was the last game that gave me the chills because mm -hmm. um, Resident Evil 2, 
I knew what to expect. Oh, of course, Mr. X is like, oh boy. But uh, and Resident Evil 3, uh, uh, we can talk about Resident Evil 3 um, after that. But uh, Resident Evil 7, I didn't know what to expect. It was completely new to me. Like uh, Jack Baker is terrifying. He was awesome. <laughs> he was awesome. And I love it. Look, he, he wasn't even like a scary person or monster. And he was still horrifying because he just, with his, with his southern charm, and he would just be like, you gotta eat your supper, Ethan. And just for some reason, that scared me. I was like, oh my god, he's coming to get me. I have to get out of his house. You know, I'm stuck in his house, and he's got a freaking shovel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why that's scary, but it was. You know, and, and because it, 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 I hope all of you guys played that game in virtual reality because um, the, the same producing team from RE2 Remake produced that one. And so they had the scare factor down. And they said to me, that game was designed specifically for virtual reality. And so I hope you played in VR because Jack was coming after you, not your character. Yes. That's why it was scary. Totally. Gente, a gente estava falando sobre o set e ele falou né, que existe essa polarização sobre o set, que muita gente não gosta por ser em primeira pessoa, ele falou que ele adora, inclusive ele gosta muito do VR, e, e ele falou que é, a gente estava conversando, eu falei que foi a última vez que eu senti medo, assim, foi com o set, quando eu sabia o que esperar, era totalmente novo. E ele falou que quando ele foi chamado para fazer né, o 2. É, eles falaram, ó, a mesma galera que fez o set tá fazendo, tá fazendo dois agora, e tipo, esse é o fator terror, né, e, e, e é principalmente isso também, né, o fato de ser em primeira pessoa é porque o Jack tá correndo atrás de você, não do teu personagem, né, e foi uma coisa que polarizou muito a galera, porque muita gente não entendeu essa proposta, mas eu super concordo com o Nick, And uh, Bruno Lima is asking about Resident Evil 4. We have much more fight scenes. How do you feel about it? You ready? Oh, I've been, I'm training already. Training. I'm ready. <laughs> yes. I was born ready. <laughs> born ready. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna, I've been. Um, <laughs> I, I've been. I've been working on a lot of things in preparation. Just in case, I get that call. Me liga, me liga. <laughs> It's in Portuguese. Give me a call. Me liga. Me liga. Uh, how do you say please? It's, uh, me liga. Well, how do you, how do you say uh, please in uh, Portuguese? Por favor. Por oh, favor. It is, uh, it is por favor, like Spanish. Okay. Uh, me liga. Por favor, Capcom. <laughs> Me liga. Por favor, Capcom. I could be Ashley. <laughs> you could be Ashley. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Leon, help! Leon! 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 <laughs> oh, people are going to want to let, let me make, you, make me let you die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, many people want to make you kill me right now because some people hate me, but it's okay. I don't care. I don't care. It's okay. It's okay. And um, John is asking to for you to say hello to him. I will be so happy, he said. What's his name? John. What's up, John? How you doing? That's how we say it in Boston. How you doing? You can say, e aí, beleza? E aí, beleza? E aí, beleza? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're speaking Portuguese. What else do you want to, to learn in, in, in Portuguese? Um, something specific? I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't know. Do you have any recommendations, like a like a cool um, 
what else what else would people say um if you saw like a friend on the street and you just want to say what's up in like a cool way what would you say um, let me see. Uh, gente, mandem, mandem frases que vocês querem que o, o, o Nick fale em português, vai. É, manda, mandem as frases aí. É, I'm asking people to send uh, the, the phrases in Portuguese for you. And um, there's a guy from uh, Mohammed asking you to say his name and uh, same uh, Mark, Mark Kevin, Mark, Mark, Mark Kevin, I don't know. Mark from, uh, from the Philippines. Yeah. I see that. Um so they just want help. I'm trying to see the the names here. Mohammed. What's up Mohammed? How you doing? <laughs> And Mark Kevin, I don't know. And Mark Kevin from the Philippines, I saw that. What's up man? Tá joia, tudo joia, tudo bem? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people are saying uh, it's stay home in Portuguese would be fica em casa. Fica, fica em casa. casa. Fica em casa. Fica em casa. Very important. Viu? Você, ó, tá querendo sair? Aí, gente, eu tava olhando pra minha webcam. Falou, Você que tá querendo sair, não saia. I was looking at my webcam. It's turned off because I'm, I'm crazy. I'm sorry. Everybody. Oh no! Everybody, stay Jesus. home. Fica em casa. Great. Leticia is is saying something really really mean right now. I have to to explain the contact the context uh, the context of the her message. Here in Brazil, we say that Leon. Uh, he is made a fool all the time for Ada, right? right? Yeah. He, all, Ada is always doing mean things with the, the poor Leon for like 15 years because from 1998, Resident Evil 2, to Resident Evil 6, 2013, and Leon did not give up, right? She must be a really good kisser. Exactly. And then, here in Brazil, we have an expression. When a man is like uh, stuck in this relationship, this complicated relationship, <laughs> we say he is... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. Gado demais. Because that would be like cattle. Do you know cattle uh, like an adult? Mm -hmm. He's like cattle. Gado demais. Like his gado demais, exactly. He so he gado is gado demais. Uh, gado. <laughs> gado demais. Ah. Should be smarter than that. Damn it. <laughs> so she's not good for me. <laughs> Right? She good? <laughs> you know. Ah. That breaks my heart. Ah, I'm sorry. I thought we, you I are, thought we. You deserve better than Ada. You deserve Claire. I thought we had something. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot lose what you never had. Right, Leon? <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe I'll go for Claire, who knows. Yeah, I think you should. So, uh, Leticia sent uh, an expression that cattle say a lot. It's moo. Sorry, that was... I was trying to explain the context, the context oh. of the sentence. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Is it, uh, is it, um, isn't, 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 um, thank you, is it grazie? Grazie? Obrigada. Oh, obrigada. 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 Thank you. Yes, that's right. Valeu. 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 
I'm trying. I'm it's trying. Okay. It's okay. So, um, uh, Alessa is asking you to notice her. Alessa. Yes, I, I've seen a lot of Alessa's comments. Um, hi, I know you join all the, the live streams and everything. So, hello to you and, uh, and thanks for the support and the community. It's awesome. Um, Nick, uh, I hope you know we are just uh, having a fun time here. Uh, we like Leon. People think I hate Leon, and it's not true. I just hate it when he gets dumb because of Ada in Resident Evil 6. It's like, come on, you are a professional. Well, you know? I promise I'll be smarter in the future. I do have a date with her tonight, but after tonight, We're done, okay? Last time. Last time. I will okay. not be taken advantage of again, ever. Okay, that was the last time. But you know what? Um, some people hate me because I have this, this joke that uh, Leon é gado de mais or something like that. And there is people that uh, hate me for that. Like, they want me dead because of that. I swear to God. Nick, that's, this is true. What would you say to those fans? Uh, fans? Um, that, that say that you should not say Leon is a... <laughs> um, they might be right about that. No, no, no. No, you're... <laughs> you're oh, no, they want me dead. You want me dead. Oh no 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 no, no I oh so you're you're just trying to you're trying to protect Leon right? Of course I want him with Claire. Okay oh t yeah look, she's doing she's doing me a favor she's trying to protect me so hey you keep on doing you and you give me good advice. <laughs> They want you to be stuck in a toxic relationship. Probably It is not. abusive. Probably not good. Might get me killed one day. Yeah. She we'll did see. it before. We'll see. If, <laughs> if, if, they, if they remake RE4, maybe we can change that. Hope so. But now I'm talking to Nick. <laughs> not Leon. Get off the character right now. <laughs> right. I'm here. <laughs> But I seriously, think... what do you think about uh, those fanboys and people who are like very um, radical and hardcore on this kind of uh, behavior regarding a character? What do you think about it? Uh, have you ever uh, suffered something like that? Like, um, oh, Claire is much better or stuff like that. Oh, no, Claire is not important. Um, something like that. Yeah, so we'll get real for a sec. Um, so when, when fans reach out and ask opinions like that and get really deep into it, I think they all have to remember that we are just people, we're just actors. And as much as I love the, the Resident Evil community and the whole universe and this character, I am still just an actor. And yeah, I might have my opinions, but I don't get so deep into it. Um, I'm just happy to do the projects justice. So um, I think they just should respect personal space sometimes. And it, it doesn't happen too, too much, but it happens enough. Yeah, happens with me all the time. People ask me to be professional because I hate Leon. It's not true. I'm just a fan and I have my all opinions and I like Leon. But yeah. sometimes I think... He should, he should be more professional. And um, I think sometimes... <laughs> Hair problems, okay. I'm, I'm here all the time, like, doing this. So I know, I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. And um, someone is asking about uh, Paul Mercier. Uh, do do they, those two poles, do they represent something for you in terms of um, artistic uh, aspects for yes. um, your whole career? Yes. Paul Mercier, 
be voiced Leon in Resident Evil 4. And he, he was actually the reason why I wanted to get into voicing video games. Yes. I played that game a lot with my younger brother when he was really young, about nine, eight, nine years old. And we would just play that game and play it. And Paul's performance in that game was just really, really good. And it stuck with me. And I, we used to say to ourselves, my younger brother and myself, we'd say, oh, how cool would it be to be a character in one of these games? It's because of Paul. Um, and I, I met him recently, and I actually told him that. I got to tell him that he was one of my heroes uh, growing up. And so, and here I am. Ai, gente, que fofo. Ele falou que quando vocês perguntaram sobre o Paul Mercer e o Paul Haddad, né? A gente falou já do Paul Haddad. E agora ele falou sobre o Paul Mercer e ele falou que ele entrou para dublagem por causa do Paul Mercer e que ele encontrou recentemente o Paul Mercer e ele pode falar pessoalmente isso. E a gente falou agora também sobre os fãs do Leon, né, essa galera meio, meio tóxica, né, que vocês sabem, né, que existe, e ele falou, cara, apesar de tudo, eu sou um ator, né, e tipo, eu também tenho as minhas próprias opiniões, mas é assim, a gente tem que lembrar que, né, as pessoas existem e os personagens não, não é verdade, gente? Um, Gabriel Correia is asking you about, what do you think about Leon from the Resident Evil Retribution movie? Did you see it? Uh, Retribution, is this, um, was that the the live action movie the the latest one yes um, the um, it's uh the, the fifth one the yeah I, i i saw um first of all i just quickly want to say hi to my buddy brett what's up brett how you doing yeah you uh, brett thanks for joining <laughs> in um yeah so <laughs> my opinion on the movies is i think they missed a lot of good opportunities for good character building. I feel like they just, uh, for some of the characters, the smaller characters, they just took someone who looked the part and just threw them in there. They didn't think too much about it. Um, I think the actor who played Barry Burton, he's actually a good actor. His name is uh, Kevin Durant, I think. He played Barry Burton in one of them. And they just completely missed the essence of who Barry is. I think they did the same thing with Leon. Um, I don't know what they did with the movies. Personally, I'm not a fan. Um, no offense to anybody. I think they can do them better. Yeah. Lots of missed opportunities. And yes. speaking about ah. missed opportunities, what yeah. it says we have like... <laughs> 20, 25 seconds only? Really? Oh, no, 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 no. We'll have to reopen our live stream. Okay, let's take a break and reset it, yeah? Okay. okay. We'll be back. Gente, a gente já volta, hein? Tá acabando aqui o tempo, a gente só vai reabrir a live, hein? Não sa... Gente, eu olhando a câmera. Não saiam daí. Gente, eu não sabia que tinha tempo. Que coisa absurda. Deixa eu chamar o Nick aqui, gente. Calma aí. Cadê o Nick? Nick. Nick. Where are you? Where are you? Here. Gente, eu não sabia que tinha tempo. Que susto que eu levei começou. 10, 9, 8. <risos> We're back! Voltamos! <risos> Okay. 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 So, speaking about missed opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Big ones. What Big did ones. you think of RE3? No spoilers, please. No spoilers, I have not played please. it. I have not played it. Oh, you haven't played it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Not yet. Not yet. I have to wait until I have to wait I'm until in Boston. I'm in Boston. With my little brother, my little brother. it's a tradition it's a I don't, tradition. Play, I these don't games. play these games. Without my brother, my cousin. Okay. 
I'm gonna refresh Gente, this real o... quick. This real quick. O, o Nick, ele não... Opa! All right, is this better? All right, is this better? Oh, I think it's... I think it is. Um, I'm hearing a weird, uh, hearing a weird uh, echo. That's okay. That's okay. I think the, the image is like a little um, blurred. Your okay. image. Okay. Let me get out. Let and me I'm try to request, request one more time. Okay. Gente, ele vai voltar, tá? Porque tá, tá dando um chabu aqui, tá? Ainda tá ruim? Só eu falando? Porque eu não mexi em absolutamente nada. Eu vou chamar ele de novo. Ainda? Melhorou agora? Melhorou? Ah, era ele que estava com eco? Peraí. Deixa eu chamar ele de novo. Oh, I think back. we're back. Yeah, I think it's okay now. Okay, better? Okay, better? Much better. <laughs> I guess okay. it is. Um, okay, so uh, we are talking about Resident Evil 3, and uh, I'm just warning everyone. Gente, não dêem spoilers do 3, porque o Nick não jogou, que ele tem que jogar com o irmão dele. Tá? Ele tem que ir lá para Boston, jogar com o irmão dele, então nada de spoilers aqui. Então, infelizmente, não poderemos falar sobre esse assunto. Um, Bruno is asking about the, the process of Resident Evil 2 creation and the action scenes. We can talk about it. Um, so, I think we talked before uh, about it, Nick, that, um, o áudio dele ainda tá dando retorno. Really? Um, we, we talked about, um, tá falando que, they are saying you still have an echo, weird echo there. I, I hear it, and I, I, I don't know why. It, and I don't know why. It's weird. That's weird. weird. I'm not using a headphone, because, but I was like that all all the time since the beginning. So yeah, I um yeah, I um I don't know what the problem. I don't is. know what the problem is. Um, um can you still understand, you still what, I'm understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I can okay. understand perfectly. Because okay. I'm I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go in about um, about, um, five minutes anyways. Five minutes I have to anyways, hop, I have and call, to hop and call my family because it's Greek uh, Easter today. It's Easter today. Okay. I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna say hello. Okay. So you can say goodbye to everyone if you want, and then we can do it again sometime. Yeah, you know, I might yeah, just start you know, doing, this, might like just start doing this like once a week. Why not? Why not? Not a problem, right? Oh, hi, Jeline. Oh, hi, Jeline. Uh, there's an artist uh, there's that, an I, artist follow that I follow on here. Yeah, she just said hello. She just said hello. Hi. Hi. So, uh, if you need to go, that's not a problem. All right, so we'll, we'll right, call so it we'll, there, we'll but, call uh, it there, but um, thank you. Thank you. So much. So much. Obrigado. Obrigado. Uh, uh, is that correct? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, was really this was really fun. Um, fun. I'm happy to connect, um, happy with, to connect all of you. with all of you. And, uh, and, um, and one more. Send, and a, one bunch more. send a bunch of hearts. Call the dad. Call the dad. There we go. There That's we right. go. That's right. All right. Okay, Nick. All right. Thank you very much, Maureen. Thank you very much, Maureen. Very nice to meet you. Very Thank nice you. to meet you. I love you so guys. Much. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. It was a pleasure. Sorry for my English, okay? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And I'm a little nervous, so thank you so much, Nick. We love you. Nós te amamos. Brasil te ama. Brasil loves you. Okay. I just want to say real quick, um, I'll also be live on Facebook um, in, let's see, about two hours. Um, that echo. <laughs> I'll share the post. And also, um, I'm also going to be live with some of the I'm RE3 that, cast and the rest of the RE2 cast today. I'm joined. Okay. Okay, we are we are having tech issues. I, I can't hear you because it's 
it's like okay no, not a problem it's like very blurry your your image is very blurry right now but um anyways um uh, we'll be on your live stream give me the details on direct message and i'll uh, forward to everyone okay okay, okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Beijos. Bye, bye. Yeah.